Roger. That was very close over that guy's head. Oh, that was an explosive. Did we actually hit anyone with that explosive? Did the Jeep explode and then the guy got injured from it? We could potentially shoot this guy. Nah, could have been a little more accurate, I guess. All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Classified France 1944. This is a game that you get when you mix XCOM and World War II and I'm honestly very, very excited that they just released the demo on Steam, which you can now download. You can get it for free. Just to link it in the description below so you don't have to look for it. And basically, like I said, it combines XCOM and World War II into one. There's a lot more to this than just being a turn-based World War II game. There are a lot of things behind the scenes, especially when it comes to, like, building your characters from skills to their equipment. You can change their hats, their clothing, their weapons, their equipment. So it really is kind of in-depth like XCOM. Now, there is a lot more to talk about. Uh, they have a uh, complete, like, mission creator, and they want to release modding tools. So, really, if you are interested in that sort of stuff, I guess just get to their store page and check it out. We're going to start off this battle, which Roger. is a little different from normal battles in this game. There's sort of three modes. I think it's ambush, assault, and stealth. And every one of these three will determine how you play a specific mission. Obviously, uh, this is assault, and we're starting, and the enemy already knows where we are. It's part of the mission. But there's going to be different you missions that are in stealth or even in ambush mode. And it just basically means that your soldiers will act differently. They will uh, per perhaps have, uh, I guess, uh, access to like stealth kills or melee kills more so than now. Because obviously the enemy knows where we are. But that's kind of what this mission starts off with. If there's enough time, maybe we can take a look at a more stealth mission, but I'm not really sure we're gonna have time for that in this video. We're just gonna showcase some of the gameplay because it is it is really World War II XCOM, and I am personally really excited. So here we're actually using the Overwatch ability, and you can see right here, and this is something really cool, you can see sort of the area that's covered by it. Now normally in XCOM, your character that you put on Overwatch will engage the very first enemy that, you know, runs through, which means you don't have as much control. Here, I can decide to ignore shooting this character if I am, say, waiting for a different enemy target to run into my view that I want to prioritize, say, like a leader character or a sniper character or any sort of reason why I wouldn't want to engage this character, I can ignore the Overwatch, which still means... I get to keep it, but I just get to use it on a different character. So right now, I had two of them set up, so I'm just going to probably use both of them. But if I really wanted to and there were more enemies that were going to run into this field of view, I could technically be like, eh, I don't really want to use the Overwatch right there. But it's just a, a thing that I really liked because you now can set up an Overwatch and say there's a big boss guy that you want to focus down. You can have everyone on Overwatch and just ignore every one of his minions running around while obviously focusing on... Can we use the machine gun again? Why not? Okay. It's, it looks cool. Roger. I don't really know if it does anything for that guy behind the pillar. Sure. Uh, we mostly just missed. Okay, Good well, there's also a whole morale system. I was hoping that would maybe in, sort of touch his morale a little bit. No, we don't really care about the Jeep. Can we... That fuel barrel will destroy that guy, so let's actually do that one then. <laughs> Hey, there we go. There's, there's a whole morale system. Uh, units will uh, be in shock. They'll be cowering, and they'll take more damage. They'll take have less accurate weapons, etc., etc. All right, let's take a look at all the customization you can do. First of all, you can change the code name for your characters. You can w change their weapons, change their sidearms, change their melee, and change their equipment. Just keep in mind, obviously, I've not unlocked a lot because. It's only one of the very first missions, which just gives you an idea that you can go through and uh, swap people's weapons and equipment out, depending obviously on if they're a sniper or a marksman or a machine gunner or assault. So that's the weapons part. Then the appearance, like I said, you can change the appearance. The thing is, and this is kind of why I'm a little worried about it. So some of these don't have any reasons to use them other than just pure physical looks. Like, hey, maybe you like the Mark II helmet better than the Beret or the Para helmet better than the Beret or maybe like no hat. But some are going to have a bonus assigned to them, usually ones that you unlock like through missions. 
And it's a little bit of a shame because it would be nice if you can just use the clothes that you think look the coolest. And now you may be forced to swap to something just because it has better stats. But these are also different. For example, the Americans have different clothing options from the British. There's also a French. I believe here we have a bunch of French resistance stuff. I'm not sure what all the different factions are, but at least we know there's the Americans, the French, and the British so far. Then, last but not least, the skill tree for these characters can go very much in depth. As you can see, this is for the Marksman, and we have like four to four different directions we can go. Defender, Sniper, Huntsman, or Veteran. Now, I've not played the game enough to know if you can unlock all of these, or if you really have to sort of go for one or two corners. But it just gives you an idea of the depth that this game is ba basically going into when it comes to the skills, the decisions you'll have to make, and how the developers themselves say how much of a sort of replayability there is going to be between this system where you get to pick their clothes and their skills and the map and the map is going to take a lot more explaining than i feel like i would want to do after only having been playing it for about an hour because i just don't understand too much about it yet but really what it comes down to it's this overarching campaign map and every zone has different buffs and obviously, at a certain point, the Germans will start sending more and more units towards you, and you'll have to try to evade them or sabotage them to try and hold on until D-Day happens. And then, well, when D-Day happens, hopefully the Allies have an easy way of invading France. Uh, but this is just a very basic mission, I guess. It's actually kind of nice to just kind of get used to the game if you're if this is your first time playing. This is like only the third mission in the game. The the other two missions actually probably reload his uh, shotgun. The the earlier two missions you get in this are more like a I introductory, I guess, sort of mission. There isn't me? really uh yeah. Should we reload? What's up? Uh, I'm ready. Maybe we'll reload with need? this guy. Reloading. I think really what we have to do here is just defend. There isn't any like um this is not like a very stealthy mission. This is just you sit there, you wait, like and you have to wait for the enemies to come in. But this will tell us where they're coming in from. So this is gonna take one turn before they come in, and it's gonna take one turn before they come in. So we could technically set up an ambush. But yeah, the whole Overwatch thing I like a lot. It allows you to set up uh, ambushes on specific characters, leaders, or any sort of character that you sector. think deserves being uh yeah. you know overwatched i guess maybe we'll, i don't know if we want to just move over here and oh. there is there's three machine guns set up here which is kind of interesting but i don't think we want to use those right now and this machine gunner maybe we'll just have him there and overwatch i wonder if we can that's Covering not a super long overwatch and then we Three, have yep. uh one more so we're just setting up the overwatch. We can't go as far. I guess it depends on the gun. Uh, you know, the the there's different guns. There's pistols, there's uh, machine guns, there's snipers, there's rifles. Uh, one of my guys has a Thompson, there's an M1 Grand. I think depending on the weapon, obviously the overwatch range will be different. The shotgun obviously having a, a lot less of an overwatch range than the sniper. Okay, there's obviously different enemy types. The game is still very much in the beginning phase in this demo so it's still teaching you about these characters hey, you have a machine gunner which has high morale damage which obviously hey you're getting mg42 would now this might be wondering it might be interesting to ignore this soldier and instead oh. i actually meant to, I, I accidentally left clicked okay. oops oh well i meant to i meant to ignore the uh the attack and oh, use both of them to overwatch this machine gunner but i guess uh, that was more of an accident on my end I don't know. Are gonna, oh, okay, he's not going to get into the Overwatch zone. But what we could do now, I think, is we could maybe use plan? our Thompson. What do we have here? An Enfield or a Thompson? The Thompson guy is probably going to be a little... I may have accidentally just clicked there. As you can see, I'm still getting used to this. I think we'll have to switch to our, switch to our pistol. Or could we grenade? Oh, we could grenade both of them. That actually would be huge. No morale damage, mostly. Oh, that guy didn't take any damage from that? Oh! Weird. Okay, you well, we'll me? use the machine gun, I think. Uh, is that going to damage my guy? Okay, no, we're good. All right. Roger. That was very close over that guy's head. Oh, that was an explosive. Did we actually kill anyone with that explosive? Did the Jeep explode and then the guy got injured from it? We could potentially shoot this guy. Nah, could have been a little more accurate, I guess. I don't like that machine gunner. 
So maybe we can use the... Uh, do we want to use the... No, we can't. We're going to have to just use the machine gun. Actually, let's just reload. They're too far away. We're in hard cover. We're good. I kind of want to do that, though. I want to get rid of that machine gunner. His morale is now broken, which is good for us. And now I think... Is there anything that we can explode? I don't know if we can shoot this jeep. We'll just shoot, we'll just shoot this guy again. Ledge, you ah, damn it. I was hoping that we could knock this machine gun around. But yeah, one thing they really talk about yes. on their store I page a lot, up. that's a very far range shotgun round. Yeah, that was never going to hit More them. Are coming. Oh, there Get are flanking us on that side too? Crap. The one thing they talk about a lot... Oh, they're flanking us on three sides now? Well, technically, they're on all of our sides. But yeah, they, talk, they really talk about this uh, building of your team. You can decide what they wear, which will actually have an impact. It won't just be visually different, but some... Well, this is a little bit, obviously, gamey, obviously, but it, it looks like some of the... Uh, some of the hats, for example, or some of the shirts or clothes or anything really can give you extra bonuses. So some helmets might give you more um, crit chance or they might give you more X, Y, or Z. Actually, we're going to have to rotate. I'm a little worried about this flank. Maybe we'll push here. Pretty much use all of the action points, though, but we'll have to reload two here at Wait. some point. And then here, we do have more enemies coming in. I don't know. Shooting this... Barrel won't kill that dude, so there's no point. We'll just kill this guy. And then we'll have to... I guess we'll use this machine gun once those guys spawn in. But for now, we can just shoot this guy. 35% chance is great. But we got a lucky crit. That's perfect. And we'll jump on that machine gun when we need to. But right now, wasn't there an enemy over here? We might have gotten rid of him. Let's uh, just reload. And I don't think we need to do an Thanks overwatch try. here. This guy is completely out of ammo, but he's also out of Magazine's action points. Dry. We can't reload. He's got one point left. Okay, I'm we're just going to end the turn. And I think this mission, again, is just defend until you've killed enough Germans. But there's different missions. There's, uh, Like I said, there's ones where you start in stealth. Target. There's ones where you start with an ambush idea. I think ambush allows you Enemy. to start in stealth... But after you kill a certain amount of units, Enemy you sighted. will sort of go loud. And then I think stealth allows you to just stay in stealth as long as you can until you're spotted. At least that's how I understood it. You have to keep in mind, I just read through the tutorial once. And a lot of that seemed pretty self-explanatory. So I read through it, <laughs> maybe not as effectively as I should have. I guess we want to reload. And then maybe we want to rotate to here. I wonder, can we get any shots off? No, it's okay. We'll swap ammo. to our shotgun guy. So this is kind of a issue. I wonder, can this grenade? No, because then we'll... T is this going to kill us too? It may, actually. Let's go back one step. <laughs> this is kind of cheeky. And then we'll throw our grenade, grenade. right here. Granate. That was good-ish. It wasn't Max the best ever. I guess we could try to go for the machine gun. That's only going to kill one guy. And I'd rather maybe reload. Reloading. And then overwatch. That's actually a good idea. We'll overwatch our sniper. Uh, we'll pull it to about Coming max. I don't know if there's a reason why you would want to only pull the overwatch really short. Because there is no downside to pulling the overwatch. Like long, I don't think. We'll do another overwatch with him. I like the overwatch. I like the fact that you can just decide when to use it. I think that makes a big difference. Don't know. Can we? If we moved here, could we shoot this guy? Or can Too we shoot this close. guy? Watch your fire. Um, thirty-five percent isn't great. Oh, he, oh, look at that. He does have a. He has a chance of friendly firing with that. But if I move, there's still okay. There's a chance of friendly firing. Let's. Or do we knife this guy? I could knife this guy. There. A little cheeky, but seven. might as well get rid of him. Uh, we do have to worry about some guys on this side, but we don't have any action points left, so we're just going to end the turn. Uh-oh. Oh, that... Took almost half his health. The good thing is we do have a bunch of uh, healing things around here. I think we're going to take the shot. Nah. The morale's down. That's good. Oh, okay. They actually hurt a lot. There is like two or three... There's, there are about two or three of those uh, healing crates around. Okay, luckily he missed. The morale is getting low, so I may have to pull this guy out of there soon. I'm a little worried. Is that an SMG guy or is it a heavy? Oh, it's a heavy guy, I think. Oh, okay. You can see his little emblem there. Okay, that's a machine gunner. 
We may have to use that MG42 that's sort of set up over here. It says break enemies with Johnson. So maybe, I think that's this guy. Maybe we knife. We knife this guy? Is that going to be enough? Ich werde flankiert. It may not be enough. It's a high crit chance, though. Okay, well, he is... He's... Oh, okay. Well, we did break them, which is good, because that's one of the objectives. It's just a secondary, I believe, but it doesn't really Magazine's matter. Almost dry. Maybe we'll rotate to here. We have still one round. I, I can't shoot backwards, though, because if I do shoot backwards with the shotgun, I'm assuming I'm going to hurt this dude, like the friendly. But I also don't want to melee him. No, we're going to melee him. I need to get rid of this guy. That doesn't really matter. I just wasted kind of... I just don't want to shoot the machine gun or the other thing. Uh, we could do that. That won't hurt either of them, though. So this is the rally one. Just gives everyone some of their morale back. I'm low on ammo. Right now, okay, also, he starts with half of the action points, I'm pretty sure, due to the fact that he was uh, shot and put into stress. Okay, we're going to have to hide this guy against the wall here, but then he's no longer... Uh, this is kind of a crappy spot to be need? in. This might be worth to use against the sure. one guy behind the Jeep. Can't Just because from. we're trying to get rid of that dude before... Oh, okay, we hit him. Monster. That's huge. Bravo. That was Roger. a critical, stri critical strike, I think. And we could still... Uh, we may just use the Overwatch. Can I help? Yeah, this guy's in a really awkward spot. We're going to hope he doesn't get shot in the back. But that's a big... A big maybe. So, 8% is not very good. I get... What's my... Okay, I could move up and throw a grenade, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to be in range. I should have saved that barrel in hindsight, huh? Okay, this is actually good. We could throw a grenade and get both of them, even hit that truck a little. But it's more to sort of try to dislodge this guy's, like, uh, morale. That was actually big. The truck. Oh, crap. That was all of our moves. I guess I forgot. Oh, he's almost down. It's a good thing I got him healed up a little. This machine gunner. Oh, no. Don't tell me he can fire again after that. Okay. okay. Well, we're going to have to figure this one out. I don't know if we need the morale boost right now. I kind of... It's only three points, I I'm think. Low but... Okay, we're going to move... Oh, that would not block you from getting shot from over there. Okay, I see. So we're going to move him here. I wonder if we want to... I can't really do anything right now. We don't have any targets from there. Empty. And this guy really needs to heal ASAP. But I can't really move him very far. Let's get him in hard cover. Maybe you can shoot through the window? We do have one more round left. Oh, we don't have any... Um, yeah. Never mind. I was going to say we are out of... Uh, that's frustrating. Out of action points. There is this barrel. I wonder if we can get a... If we get a grenade on this guy, will it? Too close! Mind your fire. We're gonna take some fire on the friendly. Maybe we'll want? move yep. the friendly out. Uh, can we move him back? That's not. Oh, that would be great. It's a shame I moved him back though. Okay, let's get him out first. Oh, we're not gonna have enough points left, but we still have Overwatch left. So why? Actually, let's do the morale improvement. Everyone, fuck up! We're still in the game. Okay. Get some morale. It's actually going to be necessary. Oh. oh, and that actually gave him... Oh, okay. This is good. I like this. So we gave him some... Ac Pimba. We headshot of them. I'm out. I we gave him extra, some extra action points there with that morale boost, which is actually great because we did need that. I don't know. Can we stand here and shoot? Or I don't think we can shoot from here. Yeah, no. We were never going to shoot from there. I, I don't think we're going to have enough to shoot from here or do anything, so... Let's cook it. He's fine, he's fine. Yep. We're going to maybe use this grenade, or are we going to shoot? Let's shoot. Sure. Taking the shot. Oh! Okay, perfect. Machine gunner's down. There's a single rifleman left. I don't know if there's going to be more in this... Oh, I forgot, a, I forgot about that guy. Oh, he's overwatching. Okay, that's fine. I was like, he's perfectly on my flank. He could have hit me pretty bad. Jeez. Jesus. Damn, I'm I get a low cover, a medium cover, I guess... Maybe save them from being, like, hit a lot? 
I do have to kill more guys with explosives. It What's would be plan? cool to do that. I don't know if we can... Uh, we can't really run around. We know there's a guy right... Oh, I can't get my grenade far enough. Uh, this might be a risky... Oh, no, yeah. let's not do that. Let's not do that. Can we shoot this guy? 33% chance isn't that crazy. Maybe we want to push up and try to get a grenade? It would be nice to get an explosives kill for the... For the, I'll call it a quest, I guess. We'll do this. Okay, and now we can use hopefully the explosive being a grenade. Hopefully that counts, because that would be great. I don't know if we want to use the sticky bomb. We'll just use the regular grenade. Let's find out if this adds as an explosive kill. Perfect. Okay, so that does. We just need to hurt the other dude. Uh, actually, okay, let's take... This is going to be a gamble. We're going to take the Overwatch on purpose. You'll be attacked. Oh, that's interesting. So you can actually stop. Now we're going to... Okay, that's fine. I just need you to get into the Overwatch or the position there. This guy is going need? to... Uh, we can't run there. I need to get a... I don't, I'm going to shoot this guy, but I also want to grenade him. Oh, that's going to kill him. Perfect. Wow. I think it, the last guy, I just needed that cheeky guy to get shot so this guy could get his grenade off. But hey, we got it. We got all the secondaries done. So, uh, and we got a new a new team member in the form of uh, of Ollie with the, I guess he has a Bren gun. I don't know if we really use the Bren gun much or if we just use the MGs a lot. There we go. Five stars. Not too shabby. Heroic victory because we... Uh, Got the secondaries done, so we get some extra supplies, some extra XP, which is always nice. That's an additional uh, 18 for the bonuses, and an additional 50 or 500 XP. And yeah, here we go. We get the uh, Digger Slouch Hat and the Webley Mark VI Dragon Revolver, which is going to she has, uh, has a couple of different stats. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at Classified France 44. I can really see myself diving into this game uh, either more of the demo, since there's another mission we haven't done, or of course also down the line when it does release. All right, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to catch you in the next one.